online coaching services. Online coaching services. I'm selling online coaching services. Obviously, that strategy doesn't work. In this video, I'll show you what's preventing you from signing coaching clients and what to do instead. Stay until the end because I will share with you the biggest mistakes that you might be doing right now and you're not even aware and that is costing you a lot of time, energy, and money. If we go back to that poor online coach trying to get clients, let's admit something. She's definitely in front of the wrong audience. No one's passing by, so it's as if she's spreading her message in an empty room or in the wrong room. Whatever the message is or how great she is as a coach, if the message doesn't reach the right audience, no one will buy from her. So to make sure that you don't make that mistake, here's what you should do. Know exactly who your perfect client is, know where they hang out, and hang out there yourself, and make sure that what you sell is already something that your audience is looking to buy. And it's definitely not enough to hang out where your audience is. You have to seek out for connections and conversations. It's funny how many coaches hesitate to reach out to people. In fact, when you do that, well, you can ask questions, be genuinely interested, and make sure that what you offer is exactly on point. For example, if you just joined a new community filled with your prospective dream clients, initiate a few conversations and see where they lead. In other words, talk to people. Remember that it's not about pitching your services right away. It's about knowing them more and evaluate if their most pressing issue is the problem that you can help them solve. The second thing that this coach has done wrong is that she only talks about her services. Of course, no one will pay attention because they have no clue about what's in it for them. Why would they stop everything that they're doing and listen to you? Why would they want to buy from you? That message is kind of lost in the air. That coach is spending a lot of energy and not getting a ton of results. Have you ever been at an event, met someone for the first time, and that person only talk about themselves? Pitching her services right away without even identifying if you are the perfect client for her business? How did you feel at that moment? Instead of doing that, shift your thinking into really knowing everything about the audience that you are serving. What is stressing them out? What's their deepest pain? What is their deepest desire? What problem they're looking to solve? What are they struggling with? Be aware of the type of efforts that they've done and that they keep doing in order to make that problem the past tense, right? And if you don't know all the details, well, you know what? Ask questions. Only when you do, you'll see that more and more people will reach out to you because they will know that you're the right person to help them out. They will feel understood. One other big mistake is that she's selling her services instead of selling the transformation. And people don't care about the services. They don't care about credentials. They care about what you can do for them, how you can transform their lives. They want you to share that you totally understand how they are feeling right now. They want you to describe what they will feel when that problem will not be a part of their lives anymore. They also want you to express perfectly that you are the gap filler and that you totally understand the difference between how they felt with that challenge in their lives and how they feel after that challenge is out of the way. There are a few other things that are preventing you from signing your coaching clients. For instance, not talking about your services as if it's the best kept secret. One other thing that you should never keep silent about is the impact that you have on others, either with your services or with the person that you are. Share testimonials. Share the impact that you have on other people. It's not true that you need years of experience credentials, or certification to make a living and more as an online coach. I made a video about that, how to become a six-figure coach without needing the certification. See you in there. Click here to watch.